Hey, what's up guys? It's Kevin back with another reaction video. Uh, it has been 24 hours since Tom McDonald made a song and put it out. The song is called Snowflakes and I have not listened to it yet. Uh, I've been waiting for this opportunity because it's been a little bit since I've been very active on here and I'm really trying to change that. So um, I thought, why not break that streak with something by Tom McDonald? Um, it seems relevant. It seems like he's on his way to 2 million in 24, just over 24 hours. Uh, so 2 million views, good stuff, Tom. Um, he's obviously a favorite on this channel. He's a favorite of mine. He's a favorite of you guys. So uh, let's get to it. The song is called Snowflakes by Tom McDonald. And uh, I'm walking in cold here, guys, so I don't know what to expect. If you lie to the government, they'll put you in prison. When they lie to all of us, it's called being a politician. You think taking guns away will save our kids from the killings. But your pro-choice abortion kills way more children. If America... All right, man, we're 12 seconds in. Uh, Tom is always talking about real issues. Um, we're, we're gonna we're gonna start from the beginning again. Uh, I really like this Tom is trash and Tom McDonald, uh, you know, crossed out here. Um, Tom is very aware of how his haters feel about him. Uh, he embraces that. Uh, he's not someone that just uh, sits around and and <laughs> and tolerates the stuff. He kind of feeds into it. Uh, he's a fantastic troll, and uh, I really like that about him because he he says his beliefs whether you like them or not. And already 12 seconds in, there's some stuff that I'm sure is going to be controversial for some. So um, I'm going to start from scratch again. I'm going to really try to decipher what he's saying and pick up on some of the words. And uh, we'll start again. If you lie to the government, they'll put you in prison. When they lie to all of us, it's called being a politician. You think taking guns away will save our kids from the killings. But your pro-choice abortion kills way more children. If America's so terrible and racist, it probably isn't safe to encourage immigration. Just saying, all the contradictions are embarrassing. Man, that's a good, good lyric right there. What did he talk about? Uh, man. There's some good stuff here. 20 seconds. We got eight seconds past the first time, guys. Um, talking about the the divide in terms of America and uh, you know those in power kind of separating people and having us fight and um, argue over certain things. He's talking about abortions being legal and uh, you know talking about guns and uh, and how man I don't even know. I mean like he's talking about a lot of stuff here, right? Let's let's get back just a wee bit. That's a good line. If it's so racist, it's probably safe to uh, not encourage immigration. Um, man, I don't know. I really don't want this channel to be about political uh, points or uh, what my stance is, is on something and whatnot, which is why we have Tom to, uh, to say some of the things I feel uh, in his lyrics. But uh, there's a lot of truth to what he's saying here. And again, 16 seconds in. Um, I'm gonna try not to pause this so frequently guys. Uh, it's a lot easier to listen to the song when I'm not pausing it every 10 seconds But that's just Tom, right? Just say it. All the contradictions are embarrassing. You know who hates America the most? Americans. Trigger warnings used to be on TV for seizures. And now they're everywhere to protect millennials' feelings. He, she, his, him, hers, them, they. Screw a pronoun because everyone's a retard these days. You're preaching at the protest that hates the problem. But hating straight men, white folks, and Christians is common. Coca-Cola telling people they should be less white. They preach intolerance, but if you disagree, they fight. Man, that's so, so true. Why is it? And again, I'm not... Not a Trump supporter necessarily here, um, but why can people say these things about Trump and get blackballed for, for being a bad person just because they, they side with somebody who, hey, guess what? That's what life is about, right? We got two people in power that you can choose from, two political parties, unfortunately. Uh, they really don't differ much. And uh, the reality is, is uh, those people that, that bash Trump, they can get away with whatever, but if you don't... Um, if, if you like Trump, it seems like you get canceled on the regular and uh, that's that's crazy. It's crazy. I mean, like we're just, um, man, we're, we're just abandoning our, our beliefs and uh, what our countries are stood on and stand for in terms of our beliefs and speaking our mind. And I know there's a lot of countries where you can't speak your mind. Uh, North Korea, a lot of other ones. Um, but I mean, isn't that kind of what made America great? And I'm not using that as a Trump saying or anything, but like, isn't that what America was kind of founded on is is patriotism and and sharing your points of view with other people and having an educated conversation and not just being so black and white about things. Um, 
again, really not trying to be political here, but I have, uh, I, again, I didn't really know much about this song, so um, I was trying not to say much here, but I mean, 42 seconds in, and I've, I've said a few things about uh, my own personal beliefs too. Again, that's Tom. He brings out uh, the best in us or, or vocalizes some stuff that we need to acknowledge. There's a race war here, elections based on fear. Black lives only matter once every four years. Soldiers die for this country and every one of us benefits. Give welfare to the bones and forget about the veterans. Black Fuck, man. Oh, we give welfare to the bums. Oh, man. And nothing to the, to the veterans. There's a lot of truth to that. I briefly worked at Veterans Affairs here in Canada for three and a half years, guys. And um, you, I was ashamed of some of the stuff I saw. Um, I'm just gonna backtrack just a tad. Benefits, give welfare to the bones and forget about the veterans. Black folks and white folks divided by the news. But we are all the same. We are red, white, and blue. Ashamed to be American? Okay, that's cool. Because honestly, we are all ashamed of you too. <laughs> oh, no. The forecast said that there'd be snow. I like the the reference to uh, the forecast is calling for snowflakes. Um, man, there are a lot of us that are easily def uh, like offended, almost said defended. Um, a lot of us that are so offended by so many things. And you know what? Sometimes we do get offended, but the reality is, is we have a choice. You can turn your cheek. You can let. You can choose not to listen to Tom McDonald. You can choose not to do things. Sure. You know, it, when when a president, I mean, I'm from Canada here and our prime minister isn't very good right now anyways here. So um, reality is, is uh, oftentimes in life we could just turn the cheek and focus on something else. And there's other times where we do have to express ourselves and be a little more passionate. And uh, I just say pick your battles. Uh, sometimes you may not agree with those in charge, which is fine. Uh, vocalize that. That's cool. But the reality is, is uh, we live in a democracy, right? People put those people into power and maybe you should be talking to your fellow man about what the hell's going on and why they vote some way instead of just hating on somebody. I do, again, I don't want to say too much here, but I do think it's really funny how anytime people badmouthed Obama, they were racist and anybody who wanted to badmouth Trump, they just, they were free to, to badmouth this guy. Again, not saying I'm a Trump supporter, um, but I can definitely tell you I'm not a Biden supporter either. So uh, read between the lines there, guys. They set us up to fail, that's what they built the system for. Put an ammunition shop across the street from a liquor store. The cowering women used to be different than this before. The role models got only fans or dance on a stripper pole. Screw it, I ain't tripping, I don't mean to be mean. But if our children are the future, then our future is bleak. They take it out of raw focus, hit McDonald's to eat. They're addicted to phones and they take Xanax to sleep. They blur the lines dividing communism and democracy. In 2021, we rape the Patriots as Nazis. The men playing women's sports is hoping. Whoa, 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 we, there's some... Oh man, Tom said a lot here. I want to go back to that reference of uh, patriotism and, and, and Nazi Nazism. Uh, let's just let's just go back a little bit here. There's a lot that he just spitted right there. I I don't have an hour to do a reaction video on here, but my God, this guy's really saying some some powerful stuff. Good, I ain't tripping. I don't mean to be mean, but if our children are the future, then our future is sleep. They take it out of raw to focus, hit McDonald's to eat. They're addicted to phones and they take Xanax to sleep. They blur the lines dividing communism and democracy. In 2021, we rate the Patriots as Nazis. The men playing women's sports get trophies for winning. Like, great, let's celebrate a man for beating some women. Dude, um, that's a great line. Um, holy smokes. I paused for the patriotism and, uh, and Nazism line and uh, and then he referenced like males fighting females. That's a true fact. Uh, if you guys follow me on here, you know I'm a big mixed martial arts fan. I used to write a column for nine years for a website previewing every single UFC event. So um, those were the years where there was like 50 UFCs in a, in, a, in a year. So I was very active with that stuff. Uh, there was a fighter named Fallon Fox who was uh, born a male, uh, became a female and was fighting females. Um, I am all for being who you want to be. If you want to be a female and you're born to me, I, I really don't care. That's your choice. Doesn't bother me. Um, but there is something about about this. I mean, here's this guy, this this female now, but born with male genetics and uh, going around beating up on women. Um, kind of strange. He's kind of touching on that here. Really funny fact, though. Fallon Fox did, did lose to a woman, uh, Ashley Evans-Smith, which is actually pretty awesome. So um, 
Anyways, sorry to go on a tangent there, guys. Man, I didn't want to talk about political point of views on this uh, or something like a subject like that. But uh, again, Tom, you bring it out of me, man. If you're black, your life matters. You're supposed to embrace it. If you're rich or you're smart, then you're probably Asian. If you're gay, then you're brave. All of that I'm okay with. But if you're white, the stereotype is you are a racist. Blaming capitalism like that's the reason things are tough. Why you tweet from an iPhone and sip on a Starbucks. You're supporting what you stand against. You don't think you are, but a Percocet addict don't donate money to pharma. Damn, dog. We're all afraid to speak the truth. And the more afraid we get, the more we hate the ones who do. You're ashamed to be American? Okay, that's cool. Because honestly, we are all ashamed of you too. Y'all are so fake. Oh no, the forecast said that there'd be snowflakes. Whoa, you can make us see it your way. No way, gasoline and propane. More flames. Oh no, no more snowflakes. We can all get along, but there's no stopping. Everybody's wrong, it's a real problem. They don't want to hear it, but they still talk it. Soon enough, we're running out of options. This ain't gonna end till it's in the coffee. We ain't gonna be friends till we try to squash it. I don't know how we can make amends or we drop it. Snowflakes melt when it's hot, kid. Y'all are so fake. Oh, no. The forecast said that there'd be snowflakes. Whoa. You can make us see it your way. No way. Gasoline and roll. Um, don't know what to say here. Um, I paused it a lot. I talked a lot about the lyrics here, guys. Um, I really glossed over the fact that the beat is really good. I like the chorus. I like the song itself. The video is, is again, pretty creative. Uh, we know Nova does awesome videos. We know Tom is a creative mind, as is Nova. Uh, and this song is no exception, nor is the video. Uh, I really, really like this song. It hits hard. Um, it's, uh, it's one of those songs that I can see triggering people, if that's what you get triggered by, is a, a man speaking his beliefs in a song. Uh, and uh, I don't know. Very interesting. Maybe one of the reasons why Tom is so cool and uh, why he's appealing to me is that he's just not toting the status quo uh, and going with what everybody else is going with. Uh, he is making songs that have some powerful lyrics, definitely topics inside of them that really are, are things that people don't really discuss too freely nowadays, especially nowadays. Uh, and he's just, there's no problem. Like he's unapologetically Tom. And uh, I think that's why we all like him so much. And uh, I know that that's why I like him. So um, I really like this song. I'm I'm surprised I was able to wait one day. I was really, I was gonna hold off on it guys. Today is day 89 of not drinking. So tomorrow I'm gonna release a video as well. Um, I don't really know what to do for a video in terms of celebrating my 90 days, but I do wanna share it with you guys because um, I started this journey not drinking with you, like before I had this channel and before you guys started subscribing to me and all your support and love has just been incredible. So um, thank you, thank you for that. And uh, I'm really proud of myself and I'm proud of what you guys have done for me. It's, it's just wonderful. So I really hope you guys liked this video. I will have something tomorrow for, um, you know, for a little bit of a celebration. And uh, I just want to thank you guys for all your support. I really hope you guys liked this song. I know that I'm going to listen to this song again. Um, I did try quickly right before it started to check for the lyrics, uh, but they were in like Dutch. So I kind of thought, well, you know what? Let's just go to the song without it. And um, again, if I'm focusing too much on the lyrics, then I'm really neglecting a bunch of other stuff. So I really try to make this a reaction video where I talk about video, the, the video itself. I talk about the lyrics, maybe the beat, whatever. Whatever strikes, strikes me, uh, I'm going to talk about. So that's my definition of what a reaction video is. And um, if you guys don't like it, that's no problem. There's other people that have their, their own views. And um, if you do like it, Maybe recommend me to somebody, click like, um, give me a comment, whatever the hell you guys want to do. Uh, thank you so much for your patience, guys. Like I said, I haven't been super active. I know I keep saying that uh, in my videos, but I will try to be a little more active here. Uh, I've had a lot on my mind the last few days as well as being on call. So um, 
with work and uh, I guess I'll be back into the swing of things pretty soon. So really hope you guys liked this one. Like I said, I did too. And uh, check back tomorrow. I will definitely have something for you guys. And uh, thank you again for all your support. And uh, we'll be talking to you guys soon. Take care, guys. Bye.